Hello movie lovers, Bob for Bob's movie review here, and today I want to review for you a movie I just watched called The Man Who Killed Hitler and Then the Bigfoot. Be sure to click subscribe and click on the bell icon to be notified whenever I upload great new content. If you enjoy the video, be sure to show it some love and give it a like rating. So this one's gonna be releasing in select theaters and on video on demand February 8th, 2019 from RLJE Films. Now I've been kind of following this one for a long time and I was super excited to get to watch this one. It is not rated, has a one hour and 38 minute runtime, is an adventure drama directed by Robert D. Krasowski. It stars Sam Elliott and Aiden Turner. It also has Ron Livingston in a very small part, but mainly this movie is about Sam Elliott's character, Calvin. So when I started watching this, it wasn't quite what I was expecting. Um, you have Sam Elliott and he's kind of just like living out his life. You know, he's an older guy and he's just kind of living out his life. And the stuff he did is kind of like his memories. So you just see his memories playing. Now I watched a little bit of this and I started thinking, well, maybe he was just gonna do kind of all this really crazy outlandish, outlandish stuff throughout his life, but it mainly focuses on the killing of Hitler and the killing of Bigfoot. So you go back to uh, him being in the army in World War II um, and, and you'll get a little bit and like he's he's at a bar and then you, get, you, you know you get a little bit of the story and then he goes home and you get a little bit of the story and then he's getting a haircut and you get a little bit of the story. So it just keeps kind of going back and forth like this. Um, it was done in a really good way that wasn't confusing and, and you weren't obviously questioning because there's two characters that play him uh, Sam Elliott and Aiden Turner you know both play him so it's an obvious different time periods young and old Calvin you also get a relationship he had with a woman um, I, I would call the, there to be a quite a big romantic element to this movie uh, between him and uh, the woman who he falls in love with um, there was, there was also this part about a Russian that I was really confused. I didn't know what it was referencing, but basically he meets this uh, Russian guy. <laughs> like seems like they're kind of making like it's out in the middle of nowhere and there may be in a tent of some sort. And I don't know if that had something to do with Hitler or... No, because he had like a beard then. I don't know. It's... It's hard to say. Maybe maybe it had something to do with Hitler, but if it if it did, I don't I don't see how it was like really important to the story or connected. I just I thought it was going to be like another thing he did, but it never seemed to really circle back to anything. So I was really confused about that. <laughs> so, as I say, he's kind of living living his life um and and he's got a lot of regrets and stuff and he's not real happy with a lot of the stuff he's done throughout his life. And the government ends up coming to him and saying, um, you know, they got this Bigfoot up in Canada and it has this disease that could be compared to the plague. And if we don't kill it, it's going to spread. And uh, so we need someone to kill it. And reluctantly, Calvin agrees to go do it. And then there's kind of a little bit of like him hunting it uh, at the end of this movie. But then the very end of this movie, I'm, I was just really confused uh, what they were going for, <laughs> why they went the way they did, what it was all supposed to mean. Um, I thought Sam Elliott and Aiden Turner were both great. Did They both had great performances in this. Uh, it was definitely a well-produced movie, and I definitely enjoyed it. Uh, to me, this movie is mainly just a drama movie. Um, a little bit slow-paced, but, but overall, I did enjoy the performances, the story, and the production of the movie. Um, I just wish the ending maybe had been a little bit different for my own liking. <laughs> so I think for a score on this one, guys, I'm gonna give it a seven out of 10. It's a fun movie about this kind of cool guy who did, who did these over the top things. There were a few really spectacular shots in it and uh, just a few interesting concepts they did. I hope you guys enjoyed this review. If you did, please be sure to leave a like rating. If you haven't already, subscribe for more videos. Check out the videos. Check out my website, bobsmoviereview.com. And I'll see you guys next time.